Right now in Egypt, what we're seeing is uh, the result of just about nine days of uprisings where people have started coming out in the streets. Uh, this is based on uh, opposition movements and uprisings that have been happening for a number of years against a police state that has been in power for 30 years. One of the uh, events that really uh, pushed uh, Egypt over the edge and I think motivated a lot of people to come out in the streets was the bombing of a Coptic Christian church uh, around Orthodox Christmas. When Egyptians saw that, one of the last rationales for the Mubarak police state really evaporated. Mubarak has always held up the bogeyman of Islamic radicalism, saying, as he continues to say, that if he goes, extremism will come in his place. And when Egyptians saw a Christian church attacked at the holiest time of the Christian calendar, a lot of Egyptians, including a lot of Muslims, became incredibly fed up. They had lost their economic security, their personal dignity, their political space, and now they had lost the Christian-Muslim harmony that uh, has marked Egypt for a very long time. Egypt has uh, a population that's about 10 or 15 percent Christian, which I think it's interesting to, to keep in mind because uh, we hear a lot about uh, immigration of Muslims to the West, to Western European countries. Uh, in no Western European country is there anywhere near the same proportion of Muslims. Uh, as there are Christians in Egypt. If this can remain what it is right now, namely an uprising of Muslims and Christians together, then it's very likely they can recover some of that original uh, Islamic confidence, which was uh, very strongly pious in its orientation, but was not exclusive uh, and did not drive out minorities or did not seek to make everyone the same. Uh, and I think one encouraging sign has been a beautiful picture that's been going around on Twitter, uh, which has a whole crowd of Egyptian Muslims praying and Egyptian Christians are forming a human chain around them to prevent the police from arresting them. This is, I think, very emblematic of what people on the streets feel. And they've even actually tried to go out of their way to remove uh, any sort of language that can be seen as sectarian or partisan. They're really trying to say, this is for all Egyptians. We might be Muslim, we might be Christian, we might be secular, we might be religious, but we want to do this together because we don't want to turn into uh, the kind of state that drives people out.